This video will describe how to run an auto test on the Trilithic 360 DSP. If we go to the auto test menu, first thing I want to do is create a job. You can see in this case I already have an open job. If I want to create a new one, just select new, type in the job number. If uh, you'll notice on the right it says channel plan office B. If that's incorrect, I can hit the function key and change the channel plan to any other ones I have in my meter. I'm going to keep that open. I'm going to move to my home cert test, auto test. And one thing you'll notice here is all of these locations I'm allowed to run the test on. I'm only required to run it on the outlet. If I do decide to run it on the ground block, that's a good troubleshooting tool, the limits will change according to where I'm at. I'm not going to have the same limits at the outlet as I am at the ground block or at the, uh, the tap, say. So wherever I decide to run my test will determine uh, the limits. The channel plan will determine what channels I'm testing. So let's just go into the tap auto test and tap location rather and you'll notice this is the ingress test once again. This just uh, is a way to check the integrity of the the cable if you will. It runs uh, very quickly. Looks like I failed in this case. I'm not measuring any levels, measuring any doxis on this test. It will ask me do I want to save the test results. The answer is yes and those test results are saved to that job number. You'll see I have a failing mark underneath my tap location. 